I have designed dinnerware for many, many years, and all those years of designing dinnerware and doing lots of entertaining, I've come to set up a few tables in my day. So one of the questions I'm asked all the time is, how do you set up a table? You know, how do you get that really beautiful layered look? Here's the really cool secret about getting a layered look, is it's actually so much easier than it may look. It may look like this took hours and hours to do, but it's actually the kind of thing that if you start to keep a pretty decent stash of stuff for yourself, you can sort of pull it out of the hat in a jiffy. And so that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is how can you get these layers? And one of my number one tips for getting amazing layers is collect as you go. Don't ever feel like you have to run out and buy it all in one felt soup. I mean, if you see a set of something, great, buy you know a set of it or buy pieces of it even because it's really wonderful also in a layered look to be able to add in other things that you may already have. For instance, you know, I've got all these beautiful little antique plates. I buy you know, onesies sometimes, or I'll be at a flea market and I'll, you know, see a little plate like this for, you know, a buck fifty or three bucks. I'll always buy that stuff. And, you know, it's pretty random collecting that I do, but that's how I get to this layered look. And that's how the look ends up being so beautiful and having so many textures and things. You know, you take a table setting like this, a beautiful little bamboo table set, you add a few gorgeous throws to the chairs, some beautiful pillows and some textures, you know, that right away will soften the look. That's your first pretty, pretty layer. I even love the idea of throwing, you know, a beautiful, you know, tatty old tapestry over the top. I mean, this thing is an $8 junky tapestry. And when you mix it in with all this gorgeous stuff, it ends up looking so cool. So again, you know, you don't feel like you have to run out and spend thousands of dollars on everything. You know, pick and choose where you're going to spend your money. If you love the dinner and you want to spend more money on that, then great. If you are looking for highs and lows, just know that textures of all sorts will work into a table setting like this. So... You know, I even add a little bit of height, put some books under something beautiful and shiny. That's always great in a table setting. You know, a little bit of sparkle is really, really pretty. Just like when you're putting an outfit together, you know, think like that. Um, and the height is nice, although not too high so that you can't see who you're talking to across the table. If you're not a flower arranger, you know, it's always pretty to bring a, bit of, a little bit of, you know, nature into any table setting. So say you don't, you know, do the magical um, bouquet of flowers, whatever, don't worry about that. You know, you can see what I've done here. This is just a few gorgeous sprigs thrown across the table. This is a little bit of Russian sage and lavender, and it's so pretty. And no matter what time of the year, there's always something that you can pluck from outside. Whatever pretty leaves, or maybe a little boxwood, or whatever you might have in your yard. Some beautiful grasses, you know, anything like that is pretty. And it also avoids the great big, you know, in your face that you're trying to see everyone. Always a little candlelight is wonderful. Um, even color on color, texture on texture is pretty, and pattern on pattern. You know, I've got this pattern next to this pattern, next to this pattern, next to this pattern. To me, that is bohemian and sexy and cool. It looks like you went to some gorgeous bazaar in Jakarta. That's the look that I think is really fun. It makes life a little bit easier because then you can have all these different imperfections. This gorgeous pattern, Artesian Road, pretty much works with anything, but you know, that's kind of how I live. I feel like lots of things go with lots of things and it makes designing and putting things together so much more fun.